Good morning, everybody. Let's go ahead and start with a prayer. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Let us pray today as we elect our class leaders for next year. Lord, we ask you to look down upon our school today and the students who will be elected to be our leaders. May our student body make good choices for the future of our school to be the best we can make it. And may the candidates for each office know of our support for their efforts and appreciation of their gifts. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Please remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. I, I pledge, pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Remember that today is No Meat Lenten Friday in Senior Lunch Off-Campus Lunches today. A Spanish Club today at Lunch in Room 208 is a meeting to finalize plans for movie night. Come get directions and your assignment for the potluck this Saturday, March 21st. Now for the sports. Welcome to the sports report. Today we have swim at Atascadero at 2.30 dismissed at 12.50. And we have JV baseball at Paso Robos at 3.30 dismissed at 1.55. Also, girls basketball. There is a meeting today at lunch in the trophy lobby. We would like all players, JV and varsity, to be there. Please get your lunch quickly, then come to the trophy lobby. Thanks. That's all for the sports today. Back to Alex and Brandon. Thanks, Legend. Class officer elections are today. If you can, please bring your smartphone or personal device and school ID to help streamline the process. And with that, now we'll have the special report. Hey guys, welcome to the special report. We're here to update you on March Madness and how the school-wide bracket is going so far, so pay attention. We had some big upsets yesterday. The three-seed Iowa State was upset by a 14-seeded UAB. Only two students in our group picked this game correctly. Chance Keegan and Alex Van Dolan. Congrats on an amazing pick. So disappointed. Another big upset yesterday. The number three seed Baylor lost to number 14 seed Georgia State. I picked Baylor to win. Three students picked this game correct. Will Spence, Chris Ramirez, and Chance Keegan. Oh wow, Chance. Chance is picking some real upsets, huh? Yeah, come on, Chance. In the school-wide group, MCP March Madness, we have three students at the top of the leaderboards. And so Saprinsky, Keenan Albin, and JT Crossa have 130 points after picking 13 of the 16 games yesterday correctly. You guys are in the 98th percentile of all brackets entered into ESPN's challenge, so congrats on that. That's amazing. There's a lot of people with 120 points just one game behind, so we'll see how it turns out after today's games. I'll, I only have 100 points. Congrats, guys. Back to the anchors. Those are some good-looking guys out there. Uh, peer mediation. There is a meeting scheduled for Tuesday, March 24th at 7 a.m. in the art room. Please let Mrs. Conway and Mrs. Perucci know if you're unable to attend. Uh, the spring dance is today, the Big Island dance from 8 to 10 p.m. There will be a limbo contest, and you can win a prize. Make sure to bring out your board shorts, your Hawaiian shirts, spaghetti straps, flip-flops, and sandals. Shorts and skirts must be in dress code, as in no less than three inches above the knee. If you want to bring a guest, bring $10 to Lori's office for any guest pass. Now for Mrs. Burrish with a special video. Hi, everyone. Happy Friday. I wanted to share with you something exciting that happened to me this past weekend. I was down at LA Congress with a group of um, faculty members and we were um, listening to different speakers and stuff. And Saturday night, I took my family to mass. And after um, the priest got up and gave his homily, he said, I'd like to introduce Thomas Awiapo. And if you guys remember, that's the guy that Mrs. Um, Ham was talking about at our very first prayer service. So I was super excited. So after Mass, I went up to him and told him that we were talking about him at our prayer service, and he was so excited. And so um, I asked him if he'd say a few words. So in just a second, I'm going to show you that. But what I do want to remind you about is to keep putting that money into the Operation Rice Bowls because it is making a difference. <clears throat> and also next week, um, the Interact Club will be doing more stuff for you to get involved in. So keep doing it. You're making a difference, and thank you for all that you're doing. Okay. Hello, Mission College Prep. I just want to say thank you. I hear you are doing amazing things for CRS Rice Bowl, and you are changing lives and saving lives. I just want to say thank you. God bless you. Keep the good work. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Burrish. Uh, service hours. Remember to log in your service hours on x 2 vol. All service must be logged by logged and completed by May 12th. Seniors, all service must be completed and logged onto x 2 vol in order to receive your diplomas. Also, our spring glean dates have been posted on x 2 vols site in order to sign up. Now to match with the food. Hey guys, welcome to the goodies. For break today, we have crepes, Lenten burritos, and dillas. And for lunch today, we have fish and chips, mac and cheese, dills again, alfredo with grilled asparagus, and on the sides, we have cookies, chips, fruits, yogurts, and french fries. Now that is all. Now back to the anchors. 
And finally, we have a service opportunity. Anybody in need of school service hours, Ms. Burridge has a project that needs to be completed after school today. She's looking for three to five students. It's a pretty easy project. If you're interested, stop by the campus ministry office at break today. And that's it for today.